Hello, my name is Resurgeon. Welcome to Sons of the Forest. Now, this is post-update where they added a whole bunch of things. This I haven't been playing it since it uh, was in early access. This should be the full release. And I haven't played through the full thing either. I was only just introduced to this game. I had it in my library for the longest time. Finally downloaded it. Got introduced to it by a couple of friends, family and have been hooked ever since and it's been a few months since i've done a recording and especially one that was focused on my tendency and obsession with building in a lot of different survival games i'm much more apt to do building and design and stuff like that with a couple quirky things here and there maybe some exploration so it's going to be slow paced the series which i'm hoping to keep up cadence with as opposed to project zomboid which i really I really need to revisit. Anywho, it's a different topic for another time. I'm hoping to keep up cadence with it. The structure of this series is going to be very building centric with some exploration and just some random banter here and there. So bear with me. Also, if you hear keyboard sounds in the background, um, I'm sorry. I have no idea really how to eliminate the sounds aside from getting like a dampener or something like that. I do have an ergonomic setup, so I just, I don't really mess with it. But hopefully it isn't too terribly annoying. Now, of course, if I start getting into really bad stuff, oh my god, I don't know if I want to do hard survival. Should I? Or do I want to do custom? You know, I'm going to do custom. I'm going to do custom because I like longer seasons. Anywho, coming back to the point. You're gonna hear my keyboard mash when I get a little bit worried. And it takes a little bit to get me worried and stuff like that, a little bit worked up, just because I've played so many indie horror games with all the jump scares and stuff like that. Some of them still get me, but majority of the time it's like, eh, huh. Well, that was fun. Well, I guess I'm dead now. So what are we gonna do for a custom game? We are gonna have enemies off. I'm gonna have enemies on, health, Let's bump that up. Let's keep that they're already tough as sin, in my opinion, from the little bit that I have played with my friends. So we're gonna keep that. We're gonna keep some of them are freaking armored out the wazoo. Holy cow. I am gonna up the search party, so that seemed a little fun. They seemed a little sparse. I tend to build off the off the beaten path. We're gonna switch that to high. Because I love lots of animals. And the raccoon oh boy, the raccoons. I like starting in spring. It gives me a good amount of time to get really established before the cold season hits. And there's a couple of places that I've already found that are nice to build. Season length, we're gonna do long. Day length, we're gonna do long. Precipitation, we're gonna leave that at default. I don't want it too rainy, nor do I want it arid. Because this is an island with basically a spruce forest spruce and birch so i i would imagine that would be the more blah 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 it would be more boreal as opposed to tropical i haven't seen a whole lot of palm trees if you get what i mean survival damage of course we're going to rank that up to hard because i love survival uh folks who play on my local servers when i'm doing multiplayer with my friends hate that but i like it they need to learn Consumable effects, we're going to put that on hard. Colonel penalties, of course, we're going to put that hard. On, on, on. World paused in inventory. I mean, we could use world pause in inventory, but we're not for the reasons of effect. There's a couple of things that I heard that are not real about this game, but that's also part of the fun, right? It's very memeable. Players triggered. Yes. I might regret that later. I don't play much with traps, but I might this time. Building resistance, let's put it on high just because I build elaborate builds and I would hate for some guy to come up and freaking kick it with one shot. I've seen those shorts. I've seen them shorts on YouTube, uh-uh. So a couple of the YouTubers that I've watched who did content on this game, one of the big ones is Farket, F-A-R-K-E-T, and he does a breakdown of the different updates, build hacks, stuff like that. And then there's Guns, Nerds, and Steel, who did a full playthrough, and just his reactions were really funny. And I've learned a couple of things here and there, some things that I would have never really, mm, I guess, looked at or considered. 
just because it's not exactly my play style. So, it might be a little bit loud this for- Oh my god, that's loud! I'm gonna turn it down on my end. Ha! Carp. Look at this beautiful island. Am I gonna be by the pistol? So, there's like a little red thing down there. Probably full of peoples. And we're diving. And there's smoke. And cannibals. And sharks. Cannibals and sharks, folks. Cannibals and sharks. So, there is some nudity that is in this game that YouTube is not friendly with, so I will be cutting out a lot of the explicit nudity. If it's a flash, I'm not going to cut it out. Oh, hello, Edward. Looks like an old man with bee beady eyes. Below ground. Ain't you hopeful? There's Kelvin, Fisheye. Hmm. Fisheye 63, he's an old codger. She's an old codger. She's a young codger. Studento. Weeks missing. We've all been missing for that much. Connection. Eh. Alright. We're gonna go through this cutscene. I've been through it quite a few times, playing different renditions and figuring out what difficulty setting really works for me. Fight demons. Isn't that righteous? Who's this shooting? Loud, just round and round we go. Down and down we go. In a spin. A big ol' hairy spin I'm in. This is something you never want to hear pilots sing. Um, wait, are we on a mountain? Wait, 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 oh, oh. Fish I done got his neck broke. He ain't moving, and his eyes are open. Oh, we're on a mountain. Oh, oh no. Why is the helicopter still moving? Oh. Are we like suspended in time? Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. That's a human jelly. This is how you get human jelly. Ow! Now who invited you here? Well, I'm pressed, don't you know? I can see the little individual hairs on his head. That's something I didn't know before. Mac, dude, with your big ass gun. So, I do curse every once in a while. I'll try to do my best to edit out the worst of it, but for the most part, you're going to hear me kind of talk like this with, oh, I'm going to be cold. I'm going to be cold. I'm going to need to go to warm places. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, you're going to hear me curse a little bit here and there. Open emergency only. I love that they have, like, little emergency packs. There was a bunny. A bunny. The bunny. All right, so I kind of already know what to do, so bear with me. One thing that I've always really liked about this is this texture right here. I like that. I like that little detail. Hey, look, a fish. Can I kick you? No. This is a salmon bearing this far up? Wow. I would have never thought. I would have never thought. So, like I said, I played a little bit of this. This isn't a virgin playthrough. I should have started recording it as a virgin playthrough, but my friends are not exactly PC, so I decided to spare it. It's okay, Calvin. Man, he's been making like a trauma snow angel. That's what he's doing. He's making a trauma snow angel. Let me help you up there, buddy. It's okay. Fort Calvin. You look like you've been through a bit. Yep, eardrums are burst, can't hear nothing. Right, focus on the pen, boy. Focus on the pen. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, you got the, you, you, you focus on the pen, my boy. All right, so just follow me and stick with me. Gosh, I'm so low in health. Take that. He looks so... Oh, now he's coming online. Now he's fully online. Das is good. Das is good. Let's open up our inventory and get through this little tutorial. I do like the mini tutorial. This is something I never got when I started because I just started multiplayer. 
it doesn't exactly do that. If you just exit out of it, it'll just automatically sort. So I'm going to put the tactical access one. And there we go. I do enjoy hotkeys. I'm going to get me a fish. Have me a fish and I'm not going to eat it raw just because it's... We don't have time for sushi. We will have penalties. I guess since we're starting out, we don't really, you know, get... There's a lot of fish in this stream. What the heck do they eat? What do they eat? I want to know. That is a small crook. My grandparents used to say. Cricks. Cricks, creeks, and rivers. Oh, and then there's streams. Oh. So much for this helicopter. I wonder where the other body is. Probably got ejected somewhere. That's pleasant. So we are gonna, like I said, we are gonna see some nudity in here and I'll try my best to either blur it out or just get past it or cut it out just because of YouTube's policies against nudity, against a lot of things that are just natural to gamers. And I would be streaming this, but man, I don't... It's one thing if you're doing a recording and it's another thing if you're doing things live. So where are we in this island? Gotta look at my phone, make sure it's okay. It's a hell of a... That's a hell of a protector on it. I wish I could get one for my real life phone. So we're actually really close to where I, I'd like to build. In fact, there's a place just south of here and to the left where that river forks, or the creek forks, right there where I'm facing. That looked like a really good area. I turned on basically cheats mode and flew around just to see where the good areas would be to build. And right down there would be good, except that I see that there is a cannibal camp really close to it. And so if that's not going to work, then we'll go to where I was starting to build over at the multiplayer side, where there's not a whole lot of camps nearby. And that's on the other side of that big figure eight lake, where that, um, that cave to the very south of us is. There's a cave up here, but I don't have any gear. I don't have a rebreather. I don't have nothing. I ain't got nothing. We do want to go get the axe first, so that's going to be my priority, is going and get that modern axe. Because I am a weak, weak person. I don't start doing damage to things until I hit like level 15, level 20 strength, which you can see the icon. Relatively north of my mini compass? We're going to call the top of it north, bottom of it south, stuff like that. So if you, if you see me refer to things as north, south on the mini map, then that's why. So, oh god, I am cold and wet and, and I need to get I need to get off this mountain. And aside from it being a crash site, this might be a nice little snowy biome to work with. But I know that the modern acts, because they don't change the location, which is sad, it makes it less, you know, replayable. Not randomized. I know that the modern axe is down there somewhere, so hopefully we don't piss off the locals while we are making our way down there and end up in a bad situation sooner than later. Put that away. I'm gonna put this away. <laughs> you know, I came across a drop like this when I was out hunting for black-tailed deer. And I came up and I was like, I wonder if I could jump down that. And I was like, no, no. Knees will buckle and probably go straight up my butt, and that's not a good time, folks. Not a good time. So, modern axe. We may, as I just walk through the forest and whatnot, I'm considering doing cuts just to make this more content focused. I got some sticks and some rocks. I just had a morbid thought. What if I just beamed you in the face? No, I'm not. I'm not a mean person. I try not to be. I'm mean to cannibals. I'm not mean to Kelvin. Kelvin's my buddy. Kelvin is like my dude. He is my dude right now. And we are going to survive together as best we can. Twin berries? Twin berries. Yep. What was I gonna say? Yeah, so I may do some cuts if it's just lengthy and boring. And if I happen to find mushrooms or something or make weird, quirky commentary, then I'll keep it in. Aside from that, I'm gonna try to keep the content focused because not not everybody enjoys long plays, and let's face it, I don't know that I can... Well, I need to face it. 
I don't know that I can keep talking for several hours on end, because generally when I sit down and binge play a game, I... Ooh, I play for hours. I play for hours. It's an evening. This is an evening. And if it's a day off and I don't feel like spending the money and getting out and leaving the house and facing people, then what I'll do is I'll just make this even longer. It might be an eight-hour play. I don't know. Obviously, with get-ups and stretches, because it's not good for your back. Now, I've got an ergonomic setup, so I can stand while I'm going through this. I could get, like, a treadmill or something like that and simulate walking, but I don't think I could simulate... Oh, that's loud. I don't think I could simulate running from cannibals or anything like that, or running through the forest. Speaking of which, I'm going to do a quick sound check. Alright, welcome back. I have tweaked the sound on the recording. I listened to it for a little bit. And it's going to be a little bit quiet for my voice in that first part, but now it should be just a little bit better. I don't want it to be overpowered by the game, nor do I want to be blasting thy otoliths into space. So this is probably going to be optimal, at least from my for my purposes. Come on, Kelvin, keep up. Keep up, my dude. We're gonna go get an axe. We're gonna go get some... some. Uh, hopefully I can come across some yarrow and some... What is it? Yarrow and aloe vera. That's what we want to get so we can make a health mix. I find that to be a little bit more economical than medicines, pills. Get, get to pop it a pop it a pop it a pills. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So... I tend to cycle through accents, too. So, in my playthrough, you might say, Why does she sound like this? Why does she sound like that? Well, it's because I'm just a goofy son of a biscuit eater. Yeah, I'm just called that. You goofy. Goofy. <clears throat> I have hit my head a few- Oh! Boy! What the- What was that? What are you- Come here! You naked- What, muncher? Oh, piss off. Okay, so I gotta remember that I have a strength level 1 of, since I'm starting out anew just for this series. Loud ass water. And I don't... I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't hit as hard as I do in my other more developed games where I've already got a base. I've kind of played around with the base building a little bit. I kind of... Mm, don't like figuring things out too much on the fly. I think it can be fun. It can definitely be content potential, but I like to also enjoy the games that I play and record. So that's, that's that. Help said. Moving on. Where are we? Oh, we are still headed in the right direction. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. I need to find like a tarp. I was kind of hoping to be by the rebreather cave so I can blitz through it. Those blueberries? Those are blueberries. I like growing blueberries. Ugh. I think they're a pretty... I think, yeah, they're they're a pretty little thing. And it's like I saw a little... These, these are different blueberries than what I'm used to. The blueberry flowers that I generally see are like bog blueberries and they have like a little bell shape. If you know what I'm saying. If I come across them, there's another berry bush that has the bell-shaped flowers, and we'll, we'll go through that. I like the foraging aspect of this. It's limited. I wish they'd develop it more, but all in all, it's it's entertaining. I mean, between the cannibals and trying to find rare things, it's like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty full at this point for me until I know this game like the back of my hand, which will be a few playthroughs, I think. So in this series, we're going to try and play through all the way to the end Unless something so ridiculous comes up that it's like, I am so put off by this that I doubt it. Oh, hey, I think this is where we get the flashlight. We'll grab that since we're right here. Where's the thingy? There's the thingy. Now, this is a tragic sight. I don't know if he got caught up in a rope or if he decided to, uh, you know, unalive himself, as other YouTubers might say. It really seems like he might have unaligned himself. Edge. Mucho Sajo. I did not 
sustained with damage there. Another thing of booze. Yeah, flashlight. Flashlights are nice. Some folks are concerned that it just eats through batteries. It hasn't just eaten through batteries for me. I've had a pretty good... That a camp down there? That's like a bunch of red smoke. There must be a camp down there. There is. Hopefully there's a pot down there. I haven't seen all of the camps. I haven't done too terribly much exploring. Just because when I find a nice place to build, I like to sit there and just build. I get pretty stuck in the building unless I really need certain tools. Now I've tried the cross uh, crossbow. Not the crossbow. The compound bow. And I wasn't entirely impressed with that thing. So I'll probably just be doing the crude bow for a little bit and just being really good with my shots so long as I can get one. I do like the range play. I wished it was better developed. Aren't you jamming out down here, Mr. Dead Guy? There is a pot. Good. I don't have to go searching for it. Some explosives. Some flareos. Wait, oh, and the axe. Pot and an axe. Score. Score, y'all. Who is Jack Holt? What is he doing here? You know what? I don't I don't know about this. So I'll try not to say anything as we approach different campsites with the radio. I guess the radio is copyrighted. So we're gonna nix those things. Or at least try to. So some of the sounds might be a little weird because I edit this stuff out. There's a I use DaVinci Resolve to do my editing. And you can remove a lot of background music and noise, but it does sound a little different. You know that there's something going on. You can hear it, and especially if you're an audiophile and sensitive to those types of things. So I'll try not to, I'll try to be a little bit wary. I'll say, oh, music incoming. And it'll be a little bit mute up until that point, And then continue on as desired. I got to make sure that I don't hit that because those things explode. I found out the hard way. Little details like that just chat my butt. Well, in this case, it blew my butt up. So, I don't want to be blowed up. It's bad. It's bad for you. Alright, so we got the modern axe. Switch over to that bad boy now. Yes. And do we have enough? We do. We have enough to make a bow. So if you're new to playing and you want to figure out what you, what you can make, you just go up here to this and I'll show you what you can make. As you level up and go through the game, gather more stuff, that little menu there that says Crafted Spear, it'll, it'll expand. Wait, not equip. I want to make a spear. Spears are pretty useful in my opinion. They have a good amount of knockback, at least from what I've seen. Maybe it was just that one playthrough. And they'll give you enough time to land a good strength hit on something. I should hotkey this stuff. So that's one. This will be two. Not one. No. Ugh. Excuse This is a skill issue. Pardon me. Pardon my skill issue. Let me brush some of that off. And then the bow will be three. Oof, all right. Well, that was lucky. I didn't know that we, like, basically spawned right over this axe. So if you notice on the map, it's right next to the road or on the road. This is the site that you want to go to to get your modern axe, which is one of the most important things that you can get early game if you're not very good with the spears. And besides, if you stick something with a spear and it runs off, it runs away with your spear. So... Yeah, I like to have something that has a little bit more oomph behind it than my mini hatchet. Collecting the sticks. You can't have too many sticks. So now that we have that, what do we want to go through next? I guess we could go get the pistol because because we're, we're really close to that thing. We're really close to that thing. So we'll make our way down there and get the pistol. First things first, though, I need to eat me some pills. Oh, got an MRE. At least I won't be critical health anymore. So we're going to bop on down there. They're 
probably is going to be a cut here real soon. Just because it's going to take me a little bit to walk down there. Or shimmy on down there. Look at, oh, before, before we shimmy on down there. He's so concerned. Look at him waddle away with his concern, but... So if I chase him a little bit, I wonder if he'll show me this. If he'll show me just for you guys. How you doing, sir? Get your butt. You gonna climb up a tree? Is he gonna climb up a tree? Climb up a tree. He's not gonna climb up a tree. He's just gonna... Oh, hi. Hello, Bambi. Goodbye, Bambi. Well then. I was kind of hoping that they'd show you, because one of the things that did get me, it kind of jump scared me, was the stupid raccoons. They can't do any damage to you, but it just wasn't something that I was expecting. There's a couple little details that I've noticed in this game that just make me... They, they make me giggle uncontrollably. I really need aloe. I think we are close to... the sea? No, this is a lake. How much further do we got? This leads us to the sea, so not too terribly far. No, Kelvin, don't stop and point. Don't anger the locals, all right? Do not anger the locals, not this early in the game. We'll deal with them later. Oh, making friends already. What was I saying? I don't know. I go off on tangents quite a bit just because I know, especially as somebody who streamed quite a bit, I know that if you stop talking and you're just watching gameplay, some folks, they like just watching gameplay, but for a series like this, it's more of a, hey, you get to meet the recorder and the person who builds and see what their train of thought is, and maybe even make fun of their train of thought, like how many times I squirrel off into oblivion. Hello, seagull. Like that. So you get a little bit more interaction out of it, maybe a little bit more... I guess like dry humor. Dry humor is a little bit more my... I, I do like a little bit of moisture. I don't like it so dry that it snaps like a like hardtack. That's, uh, that's a little too dry for me, and it's hard in the teeth, if you get what I mean. Oh, there's music up ahead, so... Alright, now I can talk again. Smash the damn things. Can I turn the music off in this game? I haven't looked. I wonder if I can for the in-game music. I don't think I can. I think I can turn down the game music, but I can't turn down the radio music. So let's just take those. Fire starter. Money! As a certain YouTuber would say. Uh, I am a, consum a, cons a consumptor. I almost said consumptor. Maybe I should just say consumptor from here on out. I am a consumer of YouTube gamers. So Markiplier, uh, Manly Goddess Hero, ABG, and folks. I am a consumer. And some of their quirks are just so quirky that I just eventually adopt them into my own manner. Uh, not because I want to steal their thunder. No, it's because I find it endearing. It's kind of like if you're younger siblings or nieces and nephews, they start emulating you because they just think you're so freaking cool. So that, that's that's kind of like the little the girl. I don't know why I'm collecting a seagull head. That is a depressing carcass. Look at that depressing thing. That almost looks like half a head crab from from Half Life. <laughs> I almost said Half Life too, but I guess they don't change much. So. Anywho, I am going to set up a camp before I go out. Before a shark nips me in the arse. Which I've had happen on my first, uh, what was it, multiplayer playthrough. I swam out to grab that, to grab that pistola, and then something yeeted me out of the water, and I got damage. As you can see, I've got multiple saves here. We're gonna go through. We're gonna just overdo this one because this one turned into a multiplayer. So we're gonna save right there, and go get a pistol. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you my boy, build a fire so we can cook some meat and then stay here. Do, do something, but don't swim out with me, my boy. Turtles, egos, egos. This is the first time I found egos. That's cool. That's cool. 
can eat egg. Do they go bad? Do they go bad? Do eggs go? Please don't go bad. Don't attack me. What if they could attack you? What if they come up and nip on your butt because you stole their egos and they just watch you steal their egos and they're like, nah, and then they just nibble. Have you ever been bit by a turtle? I've never been bit by a turtle. We don't have turtles up here where I live. But I hear it's bad juju. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go for a swim, folks. Don't bite my butt. I don't see no shark fins. No, go away. So when I get a little concerned, sometimes I get a little sing-songy. You're gonna have to deal with that. Sorry, my folks. My dudes and dudettes, my bros and broettes. And I don't want to see the shark down, because that might actually... Like, they do a good job of the hazing and stuff and not being able to see so far. I hope there's enough seagulls around here for the freaking sharks to nom on. That's what I'm hoping. There have been a couple playthroughs where sharks have helped themselves to the seagulls around this area. Crawl my ass in here. That's crawl and wobble at the same time. It's crawl. Got a little marker and Zeki Stola. What could they do? I have ZP Stola. Naha. Naha. I'm not gonna finish that. But if you know, you know. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go because the coast looks clear. Ow! Some bitch. My ass. He bit my butt. Ow! No! Faster! Faster, I'm not gonna make it. No. He's got the scent of my blood now. Go away, Sharky. I thought the coast was clear. It was not. I was lied to. Nature lied to me. No! I don't think they go this shallow. I hate it when sharks nip my ass. That hurt. What are you doing? Alright, you're gonna follow me. Like, you couldn't even see him, either. Shut up, seagull. Stupid seagull. Okay, so we are gonna cook some fish. No, we're gonna cook the meat first. Well, let's go cook it all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Let's burn some money. Burn the cage. Yeah. So we'll do that. He's enjoying life. He is thoroughly enjoying. Is there mussels around here or is it oysters? Oysters. I want to see if there's oysters. In here. There is turtle. I could use a shell. I could use a shell. Yep. Give me thy flesh. Thy flesh shall be sweet and used immensely. They come with a couple of fillets, some little egos in there, nice little trophy. It's a shame that you can't like use it all. So, might be a little grotesque for y'all out there. How did this guy die? Did he like fly into me? Oh. Wonder if I can get feathers after I've skinned him. I've skinned him. Nope. Nope. Only trophies. Where are some oysters? I'm gonna need oysters to make the Kelvin special. Kelvin special has been the most useful thing that I've eaten in this game. Man, there's a lot of sea turtles down here. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to remember that. I think there are some. I just gotta look over here. They don't only really spawn every like you got there's only certain places that oysters spawn. Which is kind of sad. Being mostly an untouched island, this ecosystem should be totally and utterly abundant. Like if you go out into... Is that an actual... Like is it gonna move? It's just a show. <gasps> oyster! Man, that thing blended right the hell in. Okay, oyster. We're gonna grab a couple of them. We don't need a whole lot of them. But we are gonna grab a couple of them. And I badly, badly need hell away from the thing there, you bastard. 
<laughs> they died. All right, we got a cooked fish. We got some cooked meat. Yeah, we got cooked fish and cooked meat. I'm gonna play them. Oh no, don't burn myself. Don't walk in the fire. Don't be in the fire. Ow! I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm pulling a Valheim. All right. All right. No more burning. I went in the water. No more burning. I have like no health. I have no health. Oh, this is bad. Stupid seagull. That's right. Burn. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna eat some meat. And we're gonna make some health mix. So, to make a health mix, we do yarrow and aloe. I wasn't able to get a whole bunch of aloe, but this will be better than nothing. This will be better than the quarter health that I got. So, one of these will almost top me off. You can see there it, it, it uh, heals two bars and then this should top me the rest of the way off. Yep. So that's like a quarter. So these pills give you half and the health mix gives you quarters. Ah. Oh, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Can I? Do I have enough coins? I don't have any coins. I should. I need more rocks. I need more pebbles. I'm going to save. Saving is a thing in this game. Mmm, I need some pebbles. And the pebbles are for making arrows, stone-tipped arrows. So you need two feathers, two feathers, two sticks, and four of these little teeny gob hobbers. Lack of better terms. My voice is starting to get a little hoarse, so we might have a little bit of ASMR. Man, longevity for talking is not my forte. I was gonna say, if they had dead gulls, the, uh, the amount of the lack there of, of rocks on this beach, little teeny rocks, is abhorrent. Or I'm just running past them too far. Too far, too fast, too furious. I do like the graphics in this game. After playing games like Minecraft, and of course it's stylized and whatnot, but after playing games like Minecraft and other games from the early 2000s and coming to something like this, I know it's a little bit janky, but it's also really pretty. I mean, look at that mountain. Look at that natural haze. We got natural haze like that up where I'm at. Without the cannibals, I might have. So, not all bad. One, two... Sometimes it, like, adds an extra stick. Extra feathers and stuff like that, and it just, it's a little weird. Like, it, it makes it odd instead of even, and sometimes that bothers my OCD. Eight. Nine. I think we can carry up to 20 of these things. 20 of each type of arrow. So like 60, 60 some arrows. I have just enough to make another set of arrows. When you reach your capacity, this won't be active anymore, even though you know you got all the ingredients that you need. It just, it won't be active anymore. So it stops you from, it stops you from making any more. Good is my aim. It's really short, like it, it drops like nobody's business. And I noticed that with the compound bow too. The compound bow will also drop. So we're gonna save here again before we set off. And we'll, give me that tarp. And we'll head back up. Come on, Kelvin, enough fun on the beach, let's go. Oh. While we're down here, I'm going to get some more fish because I don't know if I've got enough fish up there. I've got three right in, well, two right now. I think I can catch up to three. Well, I could always have him catch me some too. There happens to be a fish really close to shore. I'm taking it. And then I'll have a raw fish because I need three raw fish, which is your max, the max that you can carry. 
and then one oyster, and that makes a Kelvin special with a pot of water, of course. And the Kelvin special will help you clear cut a lot of freeze. I find that I level up my strength really fast if I just start cutting. I mean, I don't need a Kelvin special, but when I when I eat a Kelvin special and... Come here. Where'd you go? You little bastard. Come here. Oh, I got him. Oh, look at that. I got him. I love that detail of fishing. I love it. Like, little details like that make me happy. I wish there was more little details. I wish they'd flesh it out even more. Hopefully they continue to flesh these things out. It's gonna be a fun time. I think it's gonna be a fun time. If we can find any aloe on the way up, that'll help immensely as well, just because it's a little bit more renewable, in my opinion, than trying to find bottles of pills and then only able to carry so many pills. So I hear that you can basically hunt everything, like these little birds and stuff, if you can get close to them and your aim is good enough. You can get them, but they give you like a strip of meat, if that. They don't really, or maybe they just give you feathers on. They're just little morsels. So there's, basically everything is out, which is nice, including the cannibals. But we're not going to eat cannibals. If I do happen to eat parts of human flesh, it is by accident. There are times where I thought that's like, oh, well, I'll just throw these out. No, my character starts eating them and I can't cancel the animation. So I just have to sit there and listen to this guy, this survivor, nom on this fresh leg. And it's like, bleh, bleh. oh, and you can hang those things on drying racks. And I'm like, I, excuse me, dried leg, dried long pork, as the old folks used to call it. It was a quirky, quirky name for that. Just because we share, we don't share. We're very similar to pig anatomy, or anat the, the anatomy of a pig is similar to us. I don't know which way you want to approach that. Hello! It's a burb. Goodbye, burb. He just flew right through the rock. It's a magic burb. The blue burb of happiness. Yeah, long pig is what my great grandparents used to term for human meat. They never ate it, but it was just a quirky thing. Long pig. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Got us a golf cart. Hop in, Kelvin. I don't know if Kelvin can hop in. Never seen him hop in before. That's so good. Oh, I, I so there are some things that are gonna be new for. I just ran over aloe, dumbass. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there are things that I haven't seen before. Little details like that, like Kelvin getting in, because I always thought he just ran with me. Oh, there's there's aloe there. Sorry, Kelvin, you're gonna be getting in and out because there's aloe here. And we need aloe. And aloe is good to us. And we are good to the aloe. Is there any more? So yeah, I never seen him. <gasps> Hedgehog mushrooms. Hiddenum rapandum. I think that's a hedge. No, I think that is a hedgehog mushroom. I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. But most of these mushrooms, I know what they are. Fly amanita is universal. There's some other ones. Uh, what was it? Shiitake is one that I don't think I've ever really seen before. Growing fresh, at least. I've always seen them dry. They'd be fun to grow. I, I'm not a fan of how heady they taste, though. They, when I say heady, I mean like... Oh, there's some aloe there. They, they taste like woods a little bit more than a mushroom ought to for me. Like, I like the taste of bear's head and porcini mushrooms. I'm not a fan of tasting oak, like edible oak. Oh, there's a furry little gray cannonball there, butterballs. Come on, Kelvin. Oh, 
Oh my god, he's actually getting in a golf cart! I've hovered around him and just waited and looked at him and he looked at me like, hey. and I'm like, dude, get in the cart. Get in the cart. And he's never gotten in the cart before, so. That ex Ooh. Aloe. Why is there aloe right in the road? Come on, man. I'm tired of the stop and go. Okay, that's enough aloe. That's enough aloe. We're gonna grow the rest of it from here on out. That isn't candy, is it? No, it's a gray, it's a butterball. Butterball, butterball. Don't fall out, Calvin. I wonder if he can fall out. I wonder if he hit something hard enough, he'll just eject and be like, Arr! I really don't want to check that out. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, chance it. Um, do I go up here? Is it up here? No, it's a little bit more northerly. A little bit more northerly. And I, I hadn't experimented with the... We're gonna go off-roading. Dude, these things off-road. Here's another tangent. These things off-road so well, and they're great stick makers. Oh my god. I, the, the amount of stuff that this thing can climb puts a Yamaha R-Max to shame, and I'm like, how is that that a solar-powered golf cart can outperform a Yamaha out... a... a this isn't a twin site, is it? No, but there are bones, and I need bones. Bone armor is goaded, in my opinion. Oh, don't get too close to me, my dude. Gonna, you know, I don't want to hurt him. He's already been hurt. He's already been hurt. <laughs> I need bones. Give me bones. Is that like just an amalgamation of flesh? Yeah, it's like it's sat in the pot for so long it's fused on itself. Look at the butt. That's a bad butt. It's a bad butt. I don't think a butt necessarily is something that you have to censor. But boobies. Oh, everybody freaks out when there's boobies. You know. God forbid you see a butt. Cheeks. Everybody loves cheeks. They can't resist cheeks. So I thought about building here too. This is a really beautiful area. You got the falls here, but I really don't like that there's a camp so close here. We are... Oh my god, he's actually just walking right up to this. This is the first playthrough. We're going to keep that off. This is the first playthrough where I've seen him get in the vehicle. Which is a breath of fresh freaking air instead of waiting him for days. Waiting on him for days to just run up to your camp. No, he's getting into things now. But yeah, this this thing, this thing is amazing. This thing is amazing. We gotta find... Run over that stump. Gotta find... The path. Where are we? Oh, it's behind us. So we need to be... Cutting through the forest, basically. We're gonna offer it. Because this thing... Look at this thing. Look at look at how unrealistically this goes through the forest. But it's a godsend. Let me tell you what, it's a godsend. I mean, we have cannibals and mutants. Why not? Why not super-powered OP golf carts? It makes me happy. Oh, there's an indicator here. Look at that. Oh, I know why. I just downloaded an update for Sons of the Forest today, this morning. And this is new. Like, this was not in the version that I was playing, and him consistently getting in is also a fix. Oh, oh, they, they are... Go away! Freaking stupid kid. Oh my god, am I high sensitive? That's the one thing I don't like about this, that the R-Max will do better than this magic golf cart, and that's not get high centered. Yes, I see him. Leave him alone. Leave the leave the locals alone man yeah so they fixed that i wonder what else they have fixed because i was playing it mm, fairly early this morning and then when i went to take a break i ended up downloading an update and now there's new stuff in the game like little teeny detail new stuff not major new stuff but there's teeny detail stuff and I live for the little de details. Oh my goodness. I can appreciate little teeny details that immerse you in it. Even though the high centering is a pain in the arse. I still kind of appreciate it because you're like, really? 
And then uh, my family tends to give me lots of crap because I got a golf cart high center. It's like, bro, shut up. Shut your face. Shut your pie hole. I don't want to hear it. Zip it. Nada. Nah. So up here, up to the north, basically where that cave is around this lake, is where I like to build my bases. And I've heard that there are places with islands because the, the characters, the, the blah, 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 the AI, not AI, the enemies, there we go, the enemies, the enemies, the enemies, they can't swim. They have a hard time with water. So, let's see. Okay, we went past it. Yeah, they have a hard time with water, so... A lot of folks like to build... Oop! I am driving poorly right now, mostly because I don't know this path. Yeah. They like to build where there's not gonna be a high chance of raids and whatnot. Well, if I be if I build off the beaten path, there's less chance of raids. There are patrol groups on these... on these uh, paths. And to boot back here... Oh, if I can get past all these bushes. These bushes suck. I have to go a little bit slow. But up here, I don't have as much of a problem, especially if I'm across the way there. Don't go! I don't want to drown Kelvin. I don't know if Kelvin can swim. I doubt it. I don't want to lose Kelvin. No, Kelvin. Kelvin is my friend. Kelvin helps me so much with building. And I think... Ah! Okay, so I think I might, what was it, the, on my Steam page under Resurgent, ow, you bastard. So, on my Steam page, no, they're just everywhere, just moose everywhere, they're like rats. So, this is the area that I like to build. There is a lovely view of the mountain. It's right next to running water, which downstream there are fish. There's fish in this lake as well, so you can put out some fish traps. It'll freeze over during the winters, I'm sure, but for now, just to make dried fish and whatnot, since we're starting in spring, this is an excellent quiet area. If you go over on that side, it'll probably be even quieter. I don't know if there's any cannibal camps on that side. It seems like some of the cannibal camps are a little bit randomly generated. Not sure. There are mushrooms. There's hidden them here. There's uh, hidden them repar... What is this? Where's the mushroom? Shut up, butterball. Little gray butterballs, driving nuts. Trash pandas. That's what they are, trash pandas. Uh, we're gonna eat that cooked fish. Just eat the head and all, man. Doing me proud. Damn, my friends know me as the hungry one. I like to eat everything. Apparently I can make him some eggnog with vodka and egg, turtle eggs. I don't know how that tastes. I'm gonna say, where is the mushroom? I picked a mushroom. Where is it? There it is. Hiddenum repandum. I gotta look that up. Pretty sure that's a hedgehog mushroom. But yeah, I think I'm going to build up here. It's a little closer to the road, and I don't particularly care for that. If I'm over here, the worst that I've seen on like day 10 of a similarly set up playthrough on solo not multiplayer, is the cannibals that love to come around and smack your ass and run off. God, they're annoying. They're just, rrr, rrr, and they come up and they smack your ass while you're trying to fish, you're trying to do something, and you go to try to chase them, and they run away like freaking monkeys. Like, <laughs> burn them. Burn them all. They're, they're monsters. They're little monsters. And I hate it. Anywho, rant over. So this is a nice level area. It turns into a really nice, you know... One thing I've noticed, too, is that the tree decorations can be randomized. The... This turns into a nice little flat area that you can build a 4x6 square building fairly well and then branch it out from there to make it... to give it a little bit more dynamic feeling. I tend to start with, like, a 4x4 four four or a 4x6. I'm probably going to do a 4x6, something a little bit larger, especially since I've discovered the log sled. The log sled is a godsend. Let me tell you what. Yes, sirree. I don't remember this being as clear as it's been. This is, well, it's really close to this ruined camp here, and it's kind of an eyesore. 
It is a good supply place, but it's an eyesore. Watch cat food. Oh, I missed the one thing. I was sitting there and thinking about the, uh, the crash that we came from up on the mountain, which is that way. I could go back there if I wanted to. But apparently up there by that little cave marker, there's a can opener. And it's like, you know what? I can live without the can opener. I don't need no damn can opener. There's no real incentive for it. I can make all the dried fish, I can make all the dried meat, and I can make stew pots. If this wasn't right here, I thought you were gonna click. Where? Where you at? Where you at, some bitch? Throwing rocks at me like freaking apes. I hate them. You! Where are you? In here? I'm gonna slap his butt. I'm gonna slap his butt with this axe. I hate them. I hate that they go in and out of these freaking bushes. I can't see them. They make me so mad. This is a little close. I might have to... No! Gimme your skin pouch. Annoying. They're like rats. Yes, I know. <laughs> They're usually coming fours too, so I gotta be aware of that. He came over to take a bite out of his friend. Gross. They are annoying. They are pests. They're horrible. I could build a wall right there and then hide that because then I have like a really nice view. Like if I build right here, it's relatively flat. I've got a view over here. I got a view over here. Over there is even more untouched. I did build a base over there by the falls where there are fish that I can really easily get, but I think I'd go closer to the mountain if I was going to do that. So over there where that other path comes up right across straight ahead of us, that's where I'd built before as well. But that one is pretty heavily patrolled and right below that there's a cannibal camp. So, I mean, you could try up there. But there's snow up there, and it gets a little cold up there, so not a good idea. I wondered if there was a cave over there. Not all the caves had showed up on my on my thing when I was doing another playthrough, unless that's a new cave. I'd never noticed that. Like, in my multiplayer playthrough yesterday, that cave icon was not there. Now it is. Now I, I've, I've always looked over in that direction and went, hmm, I bet there's a cave over there or something, some point of interest. So that's pretty cool. Either which way, I like this area. Let me show you this other thing real quick before I just start building. And we're probably going to just speed through the building process. You can kind of see what I do because it does get a little bit boring for me to harvest things. You! As you can see, I've cultivated a hatred for these little bastards. They are, they are like cockroaches and I hate it. I hate it. You know what you get, sir? Goodbye. I kind of wish there were bears in this map. You know how freaking cold it'd be. Anywho, not only is there a convenient dump site right here, but this is a beautiful freaking view. I thought about building up here as well, but there's so many little hills that you gotta basically build against and whatnot that, that you gotta defend against. And it... it it will get tedious. It is a beautiful view. There is a cannibal camp somewhere off in that direction. Not right close, but it's relatively close. Not that one. There's one a little closer over here to the right. But this is a beautiful... I love views. I love mountains. I love views. I love cabins. But there's not as much of a flat building area right here. It's a pretty limited building area. And I like to build fairly big. So... Yeah, decisions, decisions. So what we're going to do is I'm going to save my voice because it is getting a little hoarse. I haven't done a playthrough or a recording where I've talked consistently and you get to see me just mow down this forest. In fact, I think I'll, no, I don't want to. These are permanent rocks. You can't get rid of them. You know, I'll build up there. I think if I clear enough. Uh, choices. Choices. No, here. 
here, right here. This is the flattest spot. It will give me a lot of acreage. And yeah, we won't have super wonky builds. We'll have a pretty solid build. So I guess watch me speed cut everything. All right, my dude. Let's uh, let's get the clearing. Oh, before I actually start doing the choppy chop, I think what I'm gonna do is make a Kelvin special before everything starts rotting. And then we'll get the clearing. So we need a stick. We need to build a fire. We need to build a fire. I wonder if I have enough stones to make a like a little guard. Otherwise, everything's gonna kind of spread. Yeah, like that. Start a forest fire. I don't know if you can start a forest fire, but I wouldn't want to start a forest fire up here. I don't want that. We're gonna use. Oh, hello. Throw that. Yeet that that way. There's another stone. Where are the little goose eggs? As we call them, we call them goose eggs because they kind of look like goose eggs. Gigantic goose eggs, mind you, but goose eggs nevertheless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so he likes to sit by the fire early on when your affinity isn't as high. I need one more. Awesome. I'm going to have you get one fish. Yeah, get a fish, buddy. We need three of them for this Kelvin special. Do do suspicious water. Like that. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a cooked fish or not. I guess I didn't have to eat that one. Wait, where did my other fish go? Oh, it's right there. It just didn't render in. I was gonna be like, I got ripped. I got ripped off. So how about? We make some eggnog. No, that'll use up the pot, and I need it for... Oh, did you give me a fish? Thanks, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My mouse died. Oh, no. Why are you running? Why are you running? What are you running from? I to plug my mouse in. Oh, there's a du- You bastard. <laughs> No! Come back here! Frickin' nasty ass little bastard. Alright. Back to making a Kelvin special. I guess it could be three of those fish. Yeah, it could be cooked or dry. It could be cooked, dried, or, you know, that's awesome. That's awesome. I like it. I like it. And then you can see me zoom through and clear this area with all of Kelvin here. This takes a while. You keep bringing me fish, buddy. All right. Why don't you... Yeah, just clear the immediate area. Clear the immediate area, and I'll deal with the rest of the area. We do need to get a fish drying rack at some point, and then that'll... I'll make sure we don't waste nothing. So, you'll see me build a couple of things uh, once this once this gets done. I'm going to set that up so it's not a loose thing. And then you'll see me... Uh, what was it? Pause for a bit. We'll lay down some stone foundations. I might build a log sled too somewhere in that fast forward. But for now, we're going to clear this area. We're not going to cut all the trees, but we're going to cut a good amount of them. And see what it looks like after we've cleared this forest. So, stick with me.
All right, it is getting dark. This is the end of the first day. We've done a lot. I'm going to try not to bean my lovely helper there. When I set him to maintain the base, he might cut down a couple of trees or something like that, but he won't clear the stumps. At least not that I've seen. I don't know. There's a couple of new quirks that happened with the most recent update as of today. So we'll see how it goes. But he's going to be filling that stuff up and we're just going to, we're going to go to sleep. We're going to hope for the best because I don't have a base set up yet, but we're going to hope for the best and maybe we won't get woken up. Oh, <gasps> did not get woken up. Look at this beautiful day. Oh. Be gone. Those things kick. They're vicious. Hate them. I love them and hate them at the same time. They're majestic and dumb at the same time. All right, I don't have the Kelvin special on, so we're going to go through another set of, oh, uh, what was it, speed throughs, and we might start building tonight. I might start building the next episode because we wanted to grab the axe, we wanted to explore a little bit, get this place cleared out, which is a chore, it's a to-do, and... I don't want to bore you all to death, so here's the speed up. this cave over here has it. We'll be back. We're gonna go explore this cave because I need one more duct tape. And one of the reasons that I'm freaking loud ass water, one of the reasons that I am building a sled is because I make a heavy use of stones. I've seen a whole bunch of log builds. Logs are really easy to get. Stone is a bit more tedious. Oh, that's a black squirrel. I generally see red squirrels not black squirrels or gray squirrels or any of the other types of squirrels that are in the world. I wish they had variations on the types of squirrels, different fauna and stuff like that. But of course, this is an island, so I can't imagine that there's much variance in a whole bunch of fauna. Oh, bodies. That did not hurt. That is a good thing. Do you have any just, do you have just one tape? Can I just get one tape? I don't have my reed either, and I don't have the rip line, so there's probably going to be very limited amounts out of uh, depth I can go through with this. We're going to check out what's down here. Is this just a solophyte cave? This looks like a solophyte cave. Cat food. Oh, we got cloth that we needed, so we need another thing of cloth, I think. Yeah, we need a we need the rebreather to go any further. Be a good little place to mine solophyte in relative safety. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that this was here. There's a lot of supplies in here. Don't need that food. I guess I'll pick it up just because, but don't need it. I was kind of hoping for tape. Did I get tape? No. I need a tape. Just one roll of tape. Not going down there. Well, that was a bust. I'll have to go someplace else then. It'd be interesting to see what's down here. I do need that rebreather. I don't have that. I got the skulls. I got the cloth. Now I need the, da the, the tape. The tape. I wonder. 
Hmm. I wonder if I'll come across any other camps if I just kind of wander around up here. I'm pretty sure Kelvin's got the fort down pretty good. So I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. I haven't gone up here yet. I don't have the winter jacket. I do have enough to make a torch, but I also don't want to use the cloth. Not until I really go out and do some exploring. We'll make an episode of just exploring and then the rest of it. I'm debating on whether or not to include that in the series. I should, just because it's a playthrough. I'd like to do a full playthrough of this. And might be good, good background noise for those of you who are working or just like to have something on the background with a voice. I, I guess that's um, like a lower, more tenor voice. It's a little bit more asmr -y. in a good way, not super high pitched or anything like that. So, what is that? I don't know what that was, but I didn't like how it sounded. What is near me? I bet there's something over by that little pond. Generally, if there's a little pond or a body of water, there is something over there. Most of the bodies of water have something around them, or at least near them. So I'm hoping for that. Maybe not. This might just be a pond. Like a pond that you would build around. Yeah. Well, let's continue on down. Let's see if there's anything further down here. Uh, <clears throat> My mouse is going haywire. Got one of those USB chargeable mouses. And it's pretty nice when it's wireless until it dies. In this case, it died not too long ago, and I can still plug it in and still use it, but it's going to charge a little slower. This is another buildable pond with a nice little plateau. And it's got a nice little slope up there. I don't know how defensible this would be, but I don't know. It also looks like a deep pond. Is there anything down there? No. Well, at least I washed some of the blood off of me, so that's good. But yeah, this little, this little area right here, if you look at that figure eight lake is what I'm going to call it, a figure eight lake. There's a couple of ponds up top. This one, this looks like a beautiful area to build. When I look at areas to build, defensible is like a second thing to me. I, have, I will defend it no matter what. I mean, that's what traps and other things are for. So... I look for things that have good scenery. They just feel nice. It's something that I like to come back to after jaunting around slaying cannibals. You know, someplace I can come back and relax. Hey, look, blueberries. I like blueberries. Blueberries are tasty. All this for one tape for that sled. Well, at least it gets me out of the base a little bit. And it is morning, so I have... I have a full day ahead of me. If I could find a container with tape, that would be amazing. Usually I find tape like it's nobody's business. Oh, this is another flat area, but I wonder if it's near a cannibal camp. Most of this area doesn't seem to be heavily populated. Of course, I haven't spent a whole lot of time exploring it by... It's down there. This little lake. There's running water here. Yeah, this is a nice flat area to build on that you could probably defend, because as far as I know, they can't climb up surfaces like this either. So you'd be able to put up a wall up to the point where they'd fall or something like that. Maybe you could do like a little trap there on the other side where they'd want to come up and then they'd fall off into the water and then you got like a, a little collector trap. I don't know. Oh, hey, you got stuff? No, you just gotta drink. I'll drink that. Different types of squirrels now. Looks like they were killed by flower people. The flower people. I know a little bit about the story, but I don't know the whole context. So it's it's a little weird to me. I just came here for the building and the survivability. And of course slain cannibals. The whole area seems defensible. I mean, except for that little dead body collection there. 
is a pretty buildable area. Is this like a cave system or something? No. It's just barrels. Kinda looks like a dig site. Kinda. Bet it's not. Nice little pond. Well, there were supplies here. Stick with a helmet? You know... How many claws? I only got the two claws. I'm gonna hold on to those for right now. Sticks are a plenty. I was thinking about making a torch, just so I could see a little bit better if I go into... Uh, is it like the little digouts or something where you explore and find like caches of supplies? I know that there's one south, not south. Uh, yeah, it would be south actually by this by the main map standard. If you just keep following this, there's a dig site somewhere down here with equipment, excavators, and all that stuff. And there's a bit of a supply cache. I can't remember if there's a recipe page or something, but I discovered that in one of my other playthroughs. Here's a little area where things have gone awry for these folks. Again, blessed by the flower people. I wouldn't want to be blessed by the flower people. When something sounds like, oh, it's nice, they're flower people. No, not nice. When you've played as many horror games as the rest of us have, not nice. There's so many Bambies. There's so many delicious Bambies. Oh, come on. There's got to be a... It's pretty barren over here, I've noticed. Mm, from the falls downward. It's only when you start getting into the far more temperate areas. Yeah. See? See? Little area here. Mm, I can't remember what supplies were in here, but I'm going to check it out. I don't think there's, there's any enemies in here. There's just noises. Ah! Tape! All the tape! I got all the tape. Yo. And sulfite. Yeah, there's a little sulfite dug out. And cloth. I find that the torches illuminate areas like this a lot better than this little lighter. But this little lighter, you can still kind of maintain a bit of a, I guess, sneakiness. I've been able to sneak up to certain enemies, and I don't know if that was just a bit of a glitch. I know that there's a radio over there, so we're going to, uh, well, I'm going to go check it out, but this next section up to that point will be muted. Ah, no more mute. Yes, hello. Hello, people. It's a shame that got a mute. Would like to, oh hello, would like to share the full ex, I don't like that, share the full experience with y'all, but from what I understand, anything with music, unless I make it my own, myself, it's not gonna, ah, oh, shut up. Oh no, he too shot at me, I'm gonna wake up in his camp now. Son of a bitch, I got too, way too cocky, way too cocky for me. Okay, how many of you? Oh, there's a big red man there. Where's my pack? My pack's behind me. Bastards. All right, well, he's distracted. He's over there nomming on something. Oh, shut up! No, oh, my pack. I need my pack. I need hello pack too. Uh, run away, run away. Do some drive-by Warana picking. I don't know how far they'll follow me, but I, I think I can get away from them. Bastards. I gotta get far enough away to where I can take a Medison. Look at the little gray butterballs. Yarrow? Yarrow. I think I have a decent amount of yarrow. It's the aloe that I don't have. Alright. We're gonna go into the vatar. Rinse off a little bit. And 
they haven't followed me from what I understand. So very quickly, I'm going to pop some pills. How many bones do I have? Oh, I need that. Well, I just need to friggin' play it safe. There's a helicopter. That means there must be, like, a point of interest or something over there. I'm gonna eat an energy bar, make a health mix, and then go investigate the helicopter. Just so I can at least be at full health so I don't, uh, die as readily. You know, the one thing about being lower level 2 is... I know it's coming. It sounds like it's coming from here. The sound design seems to be okay when you're in the game. Like, it's not like you hear it over here and then it's way over there somewhere. And this is like a little clearing area. Oh, um... I think I can make it over there. That has a few more drop-off stops. I don't go careening down the edge. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there is like a little camp area here. Forget, I, I think I stumbled across this once before. What's that? A hoodie! I, I didn't pick up the hoodie. We did detect an unusual burst seven months ago. Readings were similar to what we would see in a brief dimensional switch. Something dot gov. Something dot gov dot whatever dot com. Chuck Dagger. Interesting. I can't. I'd have to zoom in to see what that is. No! Go away. Go away. Go away. Don't see me. I don't exist. <laughs> circuit board, because circuit boards are useful. I can't carry no more stick. There's a pot down here that's useful to know. Lots of cross bolt action. Oh. Caught on me. I got an FC4. A silencer! This is where you get the silencer. Alright, so the silencer is. and a glider. Oh. Just a bit southeast. I go by normal direction, southeast of where I'm building up there, where my little yellow house is. I'm going to go collect that glider. I'm going to dash my butt right back up to camp and continue to chop trees down. Gosh, we're so close to that camp. Of course, I just came from there, so... Too bad there wasn't a Night V there. I'd be able to ride that thing all the way back up. I find that the Night V can be a little bit clunky at first to get used to. And then once you do get used to it, it's a little bit more versatile. Than oh, no! Go away! No. I'm in the water. You can't get me. This is why they're so dirty. They hate water. They drown in it. <laughs> oh man, the day that they patch them to be able to swim is woe on us players. Because we'll get used to them not being able to swim. And then all of a sudden they get to swim and you're like, oh no! I was not expecting that. I'm not going the right way. I really don't want to go close to that camp either. I just came from that area of interest, I do believe. Maybe there's more of an area of interest that way, so we'll head that way. And hopefully not get smushed by the freaking cannibals, because I have no armor. I could make some armor, but I also want to save the resources that I have to really focus getting my base up and running before day four or five, because that's when they really start getting hot and heavy with wanting your booty cheeks. They want to, they want to roast your rump. They definitely want some of that fresh goodness. I can only imagine how that stuff must taste after, after a bit of time. 
Uh uh. No, they want the stuff that hasn't been aged. They don't want vintage meat. <laughs> ah. I'm horrible. I'm a horrible person. That was the point of interest. Alright, well. More tar poop. We'll just continue on this way and give that give that camp a bit of a wide berth to me. Unless it's a new camp. Is that another camp? Lots of guarana. The guarana is a bit of a stimulant. I haven't actually made an energy mix with it yet because I was missing what looked like lilacs. And I've come across plants that looked like lilacs, but I haven't been able to pick them. So I'd have to look up where we would go on the island or just do some good old fashioned exploring to figure out where we can get all the ingredients for making the energy mix. I don't mind growing it either. This, uh, this stuff is, it's a very pretty plant. Don't run me over, fuck off. Picker. You normally red berries like that are like a no-no unless they're cranberries. So I'm like, huh, run little bunny, run. Run bunny, run. Run bunny, run. Alright, where am I going? Not to my camp. Okay, I need to just make a line that way, but there are moose and waters in the way. Lots of guarana around this area. I think there's lots of twin berries and snowberries too. From what I understand, you can't eat snowberries. They're not good for you. That's like dogwood. Dogwood berries. Not bane berries. Not the white doll's eyes, but... Mm, the white dogwood. I wish there was more to forage. More obscure things like these blue flowers and stuff. Like what if there was a use for them? Or some of these shrubs, like Kinnikinnik has a bit of a use up here in the northern parts of, of the states, parts of Canada. Mm, what else? Other shrubs tend to have it too. You can collect, what was it? I guess in the first forest. I've never played the first forest either, so I'll have to do a playthrough of that after I get done with this. Um, you can collect rosin. It's like these aren't, it's like these are more like pine. And then these are... Aspen? Oak? I don't know what they are. I can't see the leaves from here. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a boreal, more northern forest. This really reminds me of a black spruce. I don't see a whole lot of blue spruce or different other spruces. Grub spruce, tundra spruce, skeleton spruce. Meh! They're god, they're so freaking annoying. They're, they literally are cockroaches. They make me mad. Is this like a landing area? This is a point of it. Oh, this is where I get the leather jacket. And this is where I met Virginia in one of my playthroughs. Hollow Springs. Luxury. Behold luxury until you get turned into a blob of um, appendages. There we go. I'm starting to lose my vocabulary the more I play. The more I play, the more I talk, the more I lose my voice, the more I lose my voice, the more hoarse I get. And then it's like I smoked many cigarettes over a span of 20 years and like 10 minutes. It's not good. And I am keeping hydrated. I got a cup of tea right next to me, my chamomile tea for something nice and calm. Tasty. A little bit of a little dash of honey. I'm totally out of battery. I, I don't need no more batteries, apparently. Mm, I could always use more tape and wire. Man, there there be bunnies. Those are nice little cut flowers, I think. I'm gonna just eat that MRE if I'm not gonna. No. Use it. There's tons of supplies down here. I'm gonna leave this stuff unopened until I actually need it or I have shelves where I can store it because right now I can't store nothing. Nothing else. There's one battery. 
I think there's another set of golf Yes. I can carry up to three. Oh, we get another golf cart. I love that little, like, for, like it tells you if somebody's on, which is really cool. That's something he's like, are you on? Yes, I'm out! Rat! <sighs> Moose are assholes. Moose are assholes. This is why we eat them. Six foot tall rat. All right, what was I, where was I going with this? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I like that there's an indicator of how many people are actually on your rig. So you don't have to yell at others. And it's like, where are you? I'm on the vehicle. Yeah. I'm not too far, Newton, not too terribly far at all from where I'm based, which is nice. Oh yeah, these things are stick makers too. The log sled, I just found out after playing with it mm, earlier, before the latest, greatest update, the little micro update. It's a wonderful mower. It's a great stick collector. You can hold like 80 sticks in that thing. You can move around stones. And because I try to use stones in a lot of my building, at least for the, oh, there's a rock there. So in, in terms of my first level builds, before I go to the second story, I think it just looks nicer. I mean, you can do a full stone build if you'd like, but kind of like not doing that. Oh, I can finish that sled. And the great thing is, is that Kelvin will come up and just start filling it for you, too. All right, we're gonna... Yeah, just hang out right there. Good, good. Boss is good. Yeah, he'll just finish it for you. Oh, and it's lit. Like, you can do 12 logs or 28 stone, which is basically a full stone mode. You can do, like, 50 bones and or 40... Uh, no, 25, 50, 100 bones, or 4, 8, 12, 120 sticks. 120 sticks, man. 100 and versus the 20 that you can carry. It's like, <laughs> builder's dream, builder's freaking dream. I hate these moose. They're assholes. Not only will they run you over, but they'll also kick you if you're right up on their butt. They will kick you. They will kick the hell out of you. It's not a good time. Anywho, what was I gonna do? Oh yes, we got we got more stuff. I'm gonna build more stone holders because I go through stone like nobody's business. I do like using stone as a as a mm, building component as opposed to just doing all logs. I mean, you can make a nice log thing if you're just focused on story play and stuff like that. You're not so much focused on no. I thought he was going to run my ass over and I was going to be very... He, he doesn't do terribly much damage. He's just annoying. Just like the cannibals that come up, slap your bump, and then run away doing whatever cannibal cackle that they do. Irritating bastards. I can call them bastards too because I doubt that their mothers were married to their fathers. I doubt it. Oh, and the great thing is, too, is if you set these down just so they're not, like, in the way or something like that, if you set them vertical, yeah, Kelvin will come over and sharpen them for you if you have them maintaining the base. But when you get them back, they just revert back to normal logs and you can use them in building and they don't have the... They don't have the sharpened edge. And it's like, I thought that was going to be a thing where he would sharpen them and then I'd have a whole bunch of sharpened logs that I couldn't use in my building. Mm -hmm. Kind of a nice little thing. I thought that was a pick up a little rock. Mm -hmm. Alright, so while he builds those, we're going to fast forward in time and I'm just going to do resource gathering. Oh. Before we do this, look at this thing. Look at me mow. I'm gonna mow the yard. I mow the yard. Oh, it's such a great mower. You gotta kind of hit them head on, just like a regular mower. You can't just sideways it. 
but it's such a great mower. It's such a good brush clear, and the brush will come back after time, but yeah, I like I like it for collecting sticks because then you just run over these stick bearing trees. Sometimes they get caught under the sled, so you gotta kind of run over a heap. But you just come back and then pick up your sticks and you don't have to sit there and go, huh, oh, But my best utility for this is the stones, man. Stones. Stones are tedious to build with. And it just sorts right in there, just like a regular holder. And it's just, oh, it's so OP, in my opinion, for a builder. And it holds so many sticks. I love it when it holds good stick. <laughs> okay, we're enough of that. Enough of that. I'm back to being mature. I'm a mature adult playing a mature building game. This is what I do. Now back to password. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to harvest a little bit more on this world, set up a few more of these, definitely build up a whole bunch of rocks and whatnot, and then I'm just going to call it a day, and then on the next episode, we will start building a lovely little abode that we can, we can just relax our days on this forsaken island with. I wish this boulder was in here. There'd be more real estate to play with, but it also induces more creative, uh, more creative building tendencies. So, anywho, that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be pretty boring stuff. So I'll just gather all of this stuff. As you can see, building in this game takes it's it's a bit of a labor of love, if I may. And it definitely takes some time, especially if you're really new to the game, you're trying to figure stuff out, how to store things, where to get things, how long it takes to get the things, uh, what buffs to get to help you get the things. It's all about getting the things. And then once you get the things and you start doing things, and it's like, mm, yeah. just like any other game, it can get a little stagnant. So, anywho, yeah, I'm just going to gather up. It won't take me too terribly long to fill these up, and then I'll just call it a night and do another recording another day. So, thanks for joining me. Again, if you're wondering where this is on the map, it's the figure eight lake, really close to where you crash on the mountain, just a bit south of it. And we're just south of, what is it, like the four-way lake there, that little round lake just, just north of us there. There's a few caves, there's quite a few caves around here. And I, I really highly blah blah blah. I highly suggest getting the rebreather, so you can go into this cave because this cave does need a rebreather. Thank you. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you try out this spot. And there's plenty of other splot spots. Yeah, might as well be a spot. There's plenty of other spots along this ridge up to that helicopter crash, where it's a it's a pretty good place to build. It's a little bit further out of the way. The only time I ever get bothered by cannibals, at least for the first eight to ten days, is when... Oh, the only cannibals that do bother me are the ones that jump on you and slap your butt. I haven't seen the other ones, like a whole patrol and red men yet. But as we play more of this game and go through the story bit by bit, Again, this is going to be building-centric, so we'll take our sweet, sweet time with the story, which is in and of itself janky, but we're just going to build ourselves a nice little paradise in Cannibal Paradise. Have a good one, folks. Peace.